Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Here's what I bring to you from the world of medicine. Research reveals the liver's immune system consumes the bad cholesterol. In a study published in the journal Nature Cardiovascular Research, researchers from the Karolinska Institute in Sweden revealed that immune systems in the liver react to high cholesterol levels and eat up excess cholesterol that can otherwise cause damage to arteries and that the response to the onset of atherosclerosis begins in the liver. Cholesterol is a type of fat that is essential for many functions in the body such as making hormones and cell membranes. However, too much cholesterol in the body can be harmful as it can stick to the walls of arteries and form plaques that can narrow or block the blood flow. This results in atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, the primary underlying cause of heart attacks and stroke, and the leading cause of death worldwide. In the study, researchers tried to understand how different tissues in the body react to high levels of LDL, also called bad cholesterol, in the blood. To test this, they created a system where they could quickly increase the cholesterol in the blood of mice. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess the depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. 90% of system symptomatic individuals not diagnosed with TB may also harbor tuberculosis bacteria. A study published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Science revealed that Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the bacteria that causes a tuberculosis infection, is present in exhaled breath of 90% of those presenting with suspected tuberculosis and also includes those who are negative on conventional sputum tests and not diagnosed with TB. Tuberculosis remains a significant global health concern with approximately 10 million people worldwide suffering from it, according to the World Health Organization. Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the bacterium responsible for tuberculosis, enters the body through inhalation and primarily affects the lung. Once inhaled, the bacteria can invade the immune system. The bacterium spreads through the air when an infected individual coughs or sneezes, making it highly contagious and can affect other organs besides the lungs, leading to extrapulmonary TB. Analysis highlights health effect of calcium and vitamin supplements in postmenopausal women. A study published in the journal Annals of Internal Medicine revealed that the use of calcium and vitamin D supplements among postmenopausal women was associated with decreased risk of cancer mortality but increased risk for cardiovascular disease mortality. Calcium and vitamin D supplements consumption can potentially lead to cardiovascular mortality by altering calcium metabolism and vascular calcification, increasing the risk of cardiovascular events such as heart attack and stroke in postmenopausal women. Researchers from the University of Arizona conducted a WHI trial of CAD supplements versus placebo to evaluate long-term health outcome among postmenopausal women. The researchers looked at the incidence of cancer, disease-specific and all-cause mortality CVD and hip fracture by randomization assignment. Analysis also was stratified in portional supplement U. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.